Too many of our learners are moving up each year without mastering the basics. The Department of Education says it's time to fix that, not later, but now. This is where the ARIL program comes in, a nationwide academic rescue mission focused on reading, mathematics, and science. Today, we will talk about one of the most significant educational policies issued by the Department of Education in recent years, Department Order Number 018, Series of 2025, entitled Institutionalization of the ARIL Program or Academic Recovery and Acceleration Through Learning. This order marks a firm and determined step by the Department of Education in addressing the serious and long-standing problem of learning loss among Filipino learners. This program is anchored on the principles of the Matatag curriculum and is part of the Department of Education's overall response to the National Learning Recovery Program. The ARIL program was developed by the Department of Education to respond to the learning gaps, particularly those aggravated by the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and the prolonged learning disruptions that our learners experienced. It recognizes that despite our efforts during distance and blended learning, many learners did not acquire the essential and foundational skills in reading, mathematics, and science. These skills are critical not only for academic success, but for lifelong learning and functioning in society. The Department of Education designed the ARIL program to provide immediate, sustained, and structured academic support to help learners who are performing below the expected proficiency level. The ARIL program is a nationwide initiative by the Department of Education aimed at addressing the widespread learning losses and academic gaps caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and other systemic challenges in education. It is a key component of the National Learning Recovery Program, aligned with the Matatag curriculum, and it focuses primarily on three crucial learning areas that form the foundation of all other academic competencies, ARIL reading, ARIL mathematics, and ARIL science. Let us begin with the centerpiece of this program, ARIL Reading. Reading is the gateway to all learning. It is the foundation upon which learners can access knowledge in every subject area. Under Department Order Number 018, Series of 2025, ARIL Reading focuses on strengthening learners' ability to decode, comprehend, and make meaning from written texts. It targets fluency, vocabulary development, reading comprehension, and critical thinking skills. Learners who struggle with reading will be identified through tools like the Philippine Informal Reading Inventory and teacher-made formative assessments. Once identified, they will receive targeted intervention through small group guided reading sessions, phonics-based instruction, and comprehension strategy workshops. Tutors and teachers will provide leveled reading materials, scaffold questions, and multi-sensory strategies to help learners reach grade-level proficiency in reading. The Department of Education recognizes that without strong reading skills, learners will continue to struggle across all subjects. Therefore, ARIL reading is prioritized from grades 1 to grade 3, and extended support is provided up to junior high school for learners still showing difficulties. The program design includes scheduled pull-out sessions during non-core subjects, after-class tutoring, and even home-based reading assignments with parental involvement. Next is ARIL Mathematics, a second core component of the ARIL program under Department Order Number 018, Series of 2025. ARIL Mathematics is designed to rebuild and accelerate numeracy skills among Filipino learners. This includes number sense, operations, basic algebraic thinking, measurement, geometry, and problem solving. The Department of Education clearly states that a strong foundation in numeracy is not only essential for passing exams, but also for everyday tasks such as managing money, interpreting data, and making logical decisions. In ARIL Mathematics, teachers and tutors will use diagnostic tools such as the Reading and Mathematics Assessment, or RMA, along with classroom quizzes to pinpoint specific mathematical competencies that the learner has not yet mastered. The interventions under ARIL Mathematics include concrete to abstract strategies, the use of manipulatives, visual aids, games, and real-world application tasks to make mathematics more engaging and less intimidating for struggling learners. The Department of Education calls for customized learning plans and mathematics for each learner based on their assessed gaps and continuous progress monitoring to inform next steps. Moreover, ARIL math sessions are expected to incorporate peer-assisted learning and collaborative tasks to boost learners' confidence and critical thinking. Finally, the third key strand is ARIL science. 
While not always emphasized in earlier interventions, Department Order No. 018, Series of 2025, firmly establishes aerial science as a core focus area, particularly for grades 4 to grade 10. Science education plays a pivotal role in developing learners' ability to observe, question, investigate, and draw evidence-based conclusions. In aerial science, the Department of Education aims to reinforce foundational scientific concepts and skills, particularly in topics that are heavily tested and often misunderstood such as the nature of matter, force and motion, the solar system, ecosystems, and scientific investigation processes. Intervention strategies under aerial science include interactive experiments, inquiry-based learning tasks, the use of digital simulations and visual aids, and structured science reading activities that connect concepts to real-life contexts. Tutors are encouraged to use simplified science modules and integrate basic reading and math within science content, ensuring a holistic approach to learning. The Department of Education also highlights the use of short science texts for reading comprehension practice, thereby reinforcing cross-disciplinary skills through aerial science. Together, aerial reading, aerial mathematics, and aerial science form the three pillars of the aerial program. These focus areas are not isolated. They are interconnected, and progress in one supports success in the others. The Department of Education has ensured that intervention in these areas will not only target what learners have missed, but also build their capacity to tackle more complex learning tasks moving forward. What makes the Aral program even more powerful is its tiered intervention design. Learners are not grouped randomly. Instead, they are assessed and placed in levels based on how far they are from the expected grade level proficiency. For example, a learner in level 1 may just need some reinforcement to catch up. A learner in level 2 may require more intensive instruction. Meanwhile, learners in level 3, those who show little or no improvement after standard interventions, will be referred for specialized support. These may include one-on-one -on -one tutoring, referrals to special education services, or other intensive remediation pathways. The Department of Education requires that teachers, tutors, and school heads work together in making these decisions. They must not only teach, but also track learner progress through formative assessments, checklists, and diagnostic tools. These data points are uploaded to the Errol dashboard, which is part of the Department of Education's larger digital transformation to monitor learning recovery across the system. Moreover, under Department Order No. 018, Series of 2025, all stakeholders in the education sector, from central office officials to regional directors, division supervisors, school heads, teachers, tutors, non-teaching staff, and even parents, are called to fulfill defined roles. The Department of Education calls on parents and guardians to support learners at home, provide encouragement, and follow through with home-based activities, especially in aerial reading.